हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू मई चानल दिस्ज द टाइम पीरियड डेरीवेशन आफ सिंपल पेंडलम सो हियर इट ईज ऐम ड्राइंग द सिंपल पेंडलम डायग्राम सो दिस द पॉइंट आफ सस्पेन्शन सो हियर वी आर टेकिंग ए सिंपल पेंडलम आफ मास् एम ओके द लेंथ ऑफ द सिंपल पेंडलम कैन बी मेजर्ड फ्रम पॉइंट आफ सस्पेन्शन टू सेंटर ऑफ द बॉब ओके दट कैन बी टेकन एज एल so in mean position tension will be going to act on upwards and weight should be acted on downwards okay these two will be balanced so if you give the small angular displacement okay so the position of the bob will be here this is m and this is angular displacement theta okay here also mass weight will be acted in downwards so this weight will be resolved into two rectangular components so this is straight component is mg cos theta okay and here it is this component is mg sin theta this is two perpendicular components so this is theta means automatically this will also will be going to theta actually this line is like this okay so he, this is the linear displacement x so this is mean position this is extreme position here also tension t and length of the pendulum will not be going to change that is l okay point of suspension is s so this is the representation of simple pendulum okay diagram now we will go for the derivation so at mean position okay what are the forces are balancing you can write that one so at mean position tension will be balanced by weight of the bob that is equal to t is equal to mg okay at extreme position at extreme position what we are writing here extreme position here it is balances of forces is there no this is straight line okay so this should be equal to t is equal to mg cos theta tension will be balanced by weight of the weight component of one of the weight that is mg cos theta okay so uh, one more force is there no so this is unbalanced force okay unbalanced force okay unbalanced force what is here unbalanced force is mg sin theta unbalanced force is mg sin theta so here we in this direction we have applied the force now so this unbalanced force should be balanced by f that is equal to mg sin theta so f is equal to ma from newton second law this force in this direction whatever the force you are applying that is equal to ma so here it is ma is equal to so you are applying the force in this direction and the mg cos is sin in this direction so that's why i have applied negative sign here so minus mg sin theta m a equal to so m m will be going to cancel then a is equal to g sin theta so here uh, starting only we have mentioned theta is very small so if theta is small okay so if theta is small sin theta is nearly equal to theta okay so what will be write here a is equal to minus g theta so uh, we know the formula that is arc length is equal to angle into radius arc length is equal to angle into radius okay here arc length is we have mentioned as x so angle is theta and radius we can taken as l okay so here you can get theta is equal to uh, x divided by l okay this value we are going to substitute in in this formula that is a is equal to minus g theta so what we will get here a is equal to uh, minus of g into x divided by l here it is g is acceleration due to gravity this will be constant okay so what we will write l length of the pendulum also will not be going to change and this one also will be going to constant so here it is constant into equal to we can write as proportionality that means a is directly proportional to minus of x so this is the uh, equation of shm this is the equation of shm acceleration is directly proportional to displacement and in opposite direction and the motion should be periodic okay so now we have proved these uh, oscillations are shm okay simple pendulum oscillations are shm simple pendulum oscillations are shm by this condition okay now we have to derive the time period equation so time period equation means from shm acceleration is equal to minus omega square x okay 
so here it is what is the equation you got here a is equal to minus g x by l so you got a is equal to minus g x divided by l so this is also acceleration this is also acceleration these two will be equal no so minus omega square x is equal to minus g x divided by l so this x this x will be going to cancel this minus this minus also will be going to cancel here it is omega square is equal to g by l right so omega is equal to what you will get under root of g divided by l so omega is equal to 2 pi divided by t from the formula t is time period here so 2 pi by t is equal to what you are getting under root of g divided by l got the clarity so by cross multiplication here you want t right okay t is equal to t will be going to here and this will be coming in this direction cross multiplication okay so that you will get time period is equal to 2 pi into under root of l divided by g so this is the equation of time period of simple pendulum so this time period will be directly proportional to root l means if length of the pendulum is increases time period also will be going to increases and this time period is inversely proportional to root g okay if acceleration due to gravity is increases then time period will be going to decrease thank you so this is one of the important question in telangana and mset ip examination thank you for watching my video